everyone, welcome back. We are still in the topic of marketing, but today we are going to look at product and consumer orientation. Okay, now let's begin. Let's look at the differences between customer and product orientation. We'll kick it off with customer orientation, where essentially companies who undertake customer orientation, it refers to the way of how they produce their products. And in this case, customer orientation means that the products are designed to meet the needs of customers, right? So in order to do that, right uh, most of the time businesses will engage in market research right the types of product is tailored to meet the needs of customers therefore if they are an, in the international market right, or, or regional markets for that matter the products may be uh, tailored or customized to sometimes meet the preferences in terms of the cultural values that the country have and things like that right and this is a little bit more costly in terms of production because they engage market research, which will help them to really identify what are the current needs and wants of consumers, right? And therefore, they create a product accordingly. Now, in terms of product orientation, businesses who choose this method is basically using their capabilities to produce products according to what they see best and not so much on what customers would really want, right? So the product is designed to attract customers so that they would buy, right? And at the same time, it's normally identical or homogeneous and it does not really depend, actually does not depend on market research at all because it's really looking at what the business can do. And also, it is dependent on the resources, the capabilities, and the strength of the business, and that results in the product that they create. So now, if you look at both of these type of orientation, there would be some limitation in either taking up a customer approach or a product approach. In a customer approach, you would see that engaging research is costly for the business. And even so, after having conducted a entire market research and coming up with a product that is um, supposedly able to attract the needs and wants of customers, it may not result the same in terms of the sales that the business create. Right. Having said that, these, this can be a limitation of customer orientation. Now, in terms of product orientation, the, the company looks at their capability and their resources without having to look at all in terms of market research. Right. This could also mean that it may result in the sales or the demand in the sales because they may have a product that they think is good but there may not be a demand for it, okay? So in both situations, there are some advantages. At the same time, we, it is important that we also understand what the limitation is. So in essence, what we should know is that we should be able to understand what customer and product orientation means from this video. And we also should understand what is the limitation when applying any one of these orientations. Now, having said this, it is important that you also refer to your own notes from class and school and perform as many exercises as possible to really understand how to apply customer and product orientation into your answers. Yeah. This shows that we are at the end of our lesson for today. And if you have any questions or concern, the emails, are, my email address, sorry, is on the slide. Feel free to write to me or visit my website where you can put in your details and also uh, your inquiries as well. Uh, I hope you're able to follow today's class. If you have any uh, friends who would benefit from this, please share this video with them as well. Until I see you in the next video, have a wonderful day ahead.